Welcome back. So next step, setting up Angular. Now, I already know that I'm going to use Firebase. So I think that I'm going to take a road that says, instead of just setting up a plain Angular project, I want to actually set up an Angular project that's ready to use Firebase. So I'm going to take the steps that's required to have an Angular Fire project uh, set up. Now, Firebase provides a great API. Let me try and show you. If you go into uh, Project Overview in Firebase, and you go into right here, get started by adding your app. If you go into web right here, let's give it a name. Let's call it hairdresser salon. This is pretty much uh, setting up my app um, on Firebase. I'll register the app without the hosting, just register the app like it is. Now what you'll see right here is actually Firebase already created a JavaScript library for me that I can use. Uh, they also created an analytic library for me and these two libraries take care of communicating with Firebase. But we're going to use Angular and Angular uses TypeScript. So we need some kind of wrapper library that, that kind of uses TypeScript to read the JavaScript and do the same things we can do in JavaScript, right? So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have some kind of Angular specific Firebase TypeScript library that we're going to use. And it needs a configuration set right here to get started. So that's what we're going to do this lesson. We're going to set this up so we have connection between Firebase and Angular, that's the goal, okay? So let's get started. Well, first of all, let's actually uh, go in and find a good guide that can help you guys as well. So if you go into a GitHub and find Angular and Angular Fire, uh, I'll try and add a link in the description, but this is the link right here. If you go in there and you uh, scroll down, you'll see a getting started guide down here, quick start. I'll try and go into that guide, click it, click it. And when I get in here, it says, well, first you need to install the Angular CLI. Of course, we need that to start working with Angular. So let's find a project to work with. So I'm going into, I'm using this IDE right now, WebStorm. I'm opening a blank project and I'm opening the terminal. If you don't know where the terminal is, it should be down here somewhere, the terminal. You open that and now you have a console ready to use or terminal, uh, depending on if you're a Mac or a Windows user. In the terminal, I'm going to go to a specific directory in my case, I'm in the Angular Fire directory. I can do an LS to list this or on the Windows machine, do a deer to list this. And I can see I have two apps already here, one live and testing app and one chatty Mac chat. And I wanna make a new app in here. So it's pretty much just going to be a new Angular right here. Now I know that to create a new Angular app, I first need to kind of install the Angular CLI to start using these different Angular commands that I need in the Angular CLI. So CLI is command line interface. Um, and if you don't have this installed already, you have to do it now. So you have to run this command right here. And now I have Angular installed. So now I can start doing commands starting with ng, uh, which is for, for Angular. Now I know one command that's very useful and that's the new command, which means, which means I wanna create a new project right here. So I'll use the new command and then I'll write uh, the name of my new project. Now let's just call it hairdresser salon. There we go. So this is the new project that I wanna build. So I'll press enter. And actually, again, if you are not sure of this, you can go to the guide and it says ng new and put in the project name, right? So I'll do that, I'll press enter. And now it'll create the project. On its way, it'll ask me a few questions. First of all, do you want routing? Yes, we want routing. Secondly, you want you what kind of styling do you wanna use? I'm always using SCSS or SAS because I think that's the most used styling uh, in Bootstrap, etc. So that's the one I wanna use. And then I just let it create it. First of all, it creates a lot of files for me right here. And then when it's done with creating the files, it'll actually go to NPM and get a lot of packages. Now I've explained this in a lot of videos before, so go and check it out if you want to. So the installation is completed. It took a bit of time, but that's because it needs to get all of these different packages up here, right? Um, so the final thing I wanna do is I wanna run the command right here. I wanna go into my project by writing CD to go to the directory and I called it hairdresser saloon. Notice it created that directory for me right here. So I'll go to that project and inside that project, I should run this command to install not only Firebase, which is the JavaScript library, but also Angular Fire, which wraps that JavaScript library in TypeScript so we can use that later on. So let's just add this ng add, at Angular, whoops, at Angular Fire next. So it asks me if I wanna use uh, analytics, mm, I just, default to no actually, because if you do yes, you'll have to add some extra information. So just take no right now and we can always add analytics later if we want to. Let's just skip that for now. So after a bit of time, something like this should pop up 
um, if you want to allow uh, error reporting information, if you say yes, it also asks you to paste an authorization code right here. Now, then it should pop up like this and say, do you want to give access to this uh, CLI? And um, do you want Google to allow all of this? And yes, I trust Google, so I'll say allow. Now, when I've allowed that, you'll get some kind of link like this uh, code. I'll copy this code and I'll paste it in right here as an authorization code. And when I've done that, I'm actually um, ready to notice it pops up now because it knows my access to the different uh, Firebase projects. And I'll pick the top project right here. And now I've already set up everything uh, pretty much to get access to my project. So now it knows about my, my project that I want to use. So now that that part is set up, let's try and go back to our guide right here and see what the next step is. Uh, the final step actually, it seems that I need to set up some environment information inside the environments in, in the file called source environments environments ts. Let's see if we have such a file. Let's actually jump back to our code right here. Source environments environment ts. This is actually where we talk about the environment setup, which is the development mode. We could also have production mode right here and we could also have staging mode and stuff like that. So this is where I need to kind of put in the information from uh, Firebase right now. So if I jump in here, it seems that I'm going to add a new um, variable right here for my object and it's going to be called Firebase. So let's just paste that in here. But notice it shouldn't be your key, your project authentication, blah, blah. I need to get the actual information from Firebase. So I'm going back to the console and this is the information that I want to copy in like this. There we go. Let's just paste that in there instead. Notice it's the same names. I'm actually adding one thing and that is the app ID. You need that uh, now with the new Firebase setup. So you should add that as well in here. So the final thing I want to do is I just want to refactor this because it's just annoying that notice Lint is telling me that you shouldn't use double quotation. You should just use single quotation. I don't want it to look like an error. So I'm going to change that by going in and replacing all double quotation with single quotation, replace all. And there we go. Now the error is gone and let's just save this. And there we go. Now we have pretty much the setup for Firebase in Angular, right? But we're not quite done yet, but I'll end this video right here. And next lesson, we will also get our first connection to actually talk to Firebase. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.